Hello, my name is Matt. And my name's Jordan. And Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas. It's the 25th of December. It's not, it's the 23rd. It's the 23rd. Ah! It's the 20th. <laughs> Go cramped in my toe. That's okay. Um, 23rd, see? Oh, yeah, I, I am round Matt's house, that's why uh, this is like this. We're pre recording because we're not going to be here on Christmas Day, probably. Yeah, in the pub. There'll be presents from Santa Claus. And yeah, Santa. <laughs> Rest in peace, Santa. Yeah. Anyway, um, I don't know why I said that, but <laughs> I'm sorry if the uh, sound is a bit off as we don't really know what's going down at the moment. But this is a, uh, as we know, a throwback. I can't think of the word. It's like a, a journey, back, journey, a journey, a journey through yeah, YouTube. You'll know that from the title, unless I give it some name like. <laughs> or like on the that. keyboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess it's best to start with the beginning, 2007. Uh, 29th of December. The 29th of December, 2007. Matt opened his first account, which was oh, Matty 400. And what did you do with Matty 400, Matthew? Of course. <laughs> well, um, yeah. You, yeah, say, yeah go it, on, it, go make, it. it made more sense to say that then you had your channel. On the fifteenth of March two thousand and eight, as well, which was Rocky seven eight zero. What a channel! What a what a time! <laughs> but before that, actually, because I just remembered that when we were playing before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, I before know, that, that's what I, was I sort of started then by making like animated gifs on fireworks. I was like, I don't know, like two years old. And, and, like, and oh, cool. you started with Pivot as well, but I don't know if that was later on. Oh yes, I saw that. Pivot. <laughs> we started out making Halo videos because I had a capture card. George had a camera. <laughs> <laughs> I had a camera and a uh, 15 inch TV, I think. That's amazing. Which my monitor's bigger than that now by like seven inches, which is dreadful. <laughs> and I had this like camera, and me and my friend Zach used to uh, record the TV of like Call of Duty and Halo. Zach was on yesterday's video. Zach was on yesterday's video. He's the guy that barely ever speaks and sounded very pissed off because he <laughs> doesn't like the map that we played, but it's friggin' amazing. Anyway. Um, and ours was Ways to Kill Noobs, and oh, you can probably still what, watch them. What brilliant They were a brilliant was. idea, but no, we just no, they couldn't... They were yes, dread- they were. They were dreadful. They were dreadful, but they had good ideas, and they came from the heart <laughs> of, of wannabe YouTubers. Right, okay. So that was basically what happened with Rocky. Then uh, we sort of moved yeah, on. Gone. Since I had the capture card, but we both wanted to make videos. <laughs> Stopped for ages. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 before that, we still yeah, did yeah, yeah, no, the no. Infection movie. We wanted to make this epic Halo Machinima, and when we finished recording all well, the Well, we want to explain sort of... why. We want to say, like, Deus Ex Machinima was out at the time. Was Deus Ex Machina. Deus Ex Machina, whatever. Yeah. Machina. Um, we thought that that one guy, uh, Digital Fear, was Machinima. Was Machinima because As everything, back then. Yeah. everything on his channel. Machinima only had like two hundred thousand subs. Yeah, they nothing. were absolutely nothing. Uh, but that was pretty big at the time. And yeah, as Matt said, the Infection movie. Uh, we got all the clips together. It was fifteen minutes long at the end. It would have been yeah, a really good video. It would have. Right. Except and for Matt, the fact it was bad. Me, Matt, and Zach were the. Uh, the cast once yeah. again, like walking around, we, we and you and you ca- and your other controllers. Oh yeah, you used to like control two people at once by like holding all your fingers <laughs> on the key. Oh, it was amazing. It was great. We spent a year of walking to school talking. We about actually that did. Thing. It was whole just year. the infection movie that we were talking about all whole, the way. Yeah, it was, I don't even know how we managed that. What no idea. Speak about no idea. Was, like yeah. new ideas that we could do, but basically, we <laughs> actually never uh, did it. Did it because <laughs> what happened? Was we put it all together and we were like, oh, we can say this here, this here, this will all happen. Go what were it. we at the time? We were like 13, we must 13, yes. Yeah, so, so we started recording and our voices were really high pitched. Yeah, we hadn't. We just looked at each other and went, oh, God, this sounds No, terrible. no, I was like, oh, please, can we do it? Come on. And Matt was like, no, this will be ridiculous. We'll sound stupid. We'll have to wait till our balls drop. <laughs> I didn't and, really uh, say that. I was like, it was pretty much. Until we got deep voices, I think. I no, and then I think you grabbed my knob. I don't think that. I don't remember that. <laughs> No, and then uh, basically at one point as well, Zach went, um, Dad, can I swear in a video for YouTube? And he went, absolutely not, son. So that's a couple and of that is, yeah. And that was that, basically. I, and I thought that was just ridiculous <laughs> that he even asked. Know, he didn't yeah. even just swear. And yeah, yeah. Get a grip, man. So anyway, then coming up to this point, um, we stopped for ages. <laughs> <laughs> we stopped for ages. <laughs> yeah, was, we stopped till bad. about maybe 2009. 2010. Mr. Flubberjubber. Quick check on YouTube. Yeah, I am, Quick. I am, I am, I am. I'm pretty Pop sure Mr. Flubberjubber was started in 2010, but early on in 2010. And plays it There, yeah, September the 3rd, 2010. Okay. He's going to play a video. September the 3rd, 2010 was Mr. Flubberjubber. And Matt Plays. And Matt Plays was pretty oh, much close enough. Look at this, uh, yes, do Matt Plays. Matt Plays was the 25th. February the 20th. 
2011, so oh. quite a while after, okay, actually. Fair March, April... No, January, February, March. We started Pod Crash, you moved to this. Anyway. Yeah, whatever. So um, we so both did those channels. Um, George, go on, you explain yours. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I did... Um, I wanted to make a general gaming channel. It was sort of a competition between us at the start, wasn't it? Well, it, it couldn't have been for a while because you hadn't made yours, but I'd, well, I got yeah. like... Maybe about 90 subscribers on my Mr. Flubberjub, but and I started with like talking with random people, like, oh, we can make this and this and this. And none of it ever happened, as you know, normally it never does for people. Yeah, yeah. And then Matt started this Matt Plays channel because he didn't want to use uh, Mr. Uh, Matty 400. And he made this one video. He did Magicka, poor, poor bastard. I liked it. I thought Magicka was good, to be honest. And he did this one video. There it is. And it got 47,000 views because it was like a Minecraft beta video. And I was like, what the hell? I can't actually do anything now. I'm disabled, for God's sake. I've won the race. And I'm... my channel was practically nothing. I so... couldn't be asked doing this in the end either. So, um, took a break. We didn't take a break. <laughs> we actually went straight into Podcrash. Yeah. No, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Was before. We didn't even create Podcrash. The day of Podcrash being created. It was the 6th of March, 2011. Sixth, the day after Matt's birthday. I don't know what made us go, you know what? Let's, let's, make a, make a, let's make a fucking channel. <laughs> I was going to say that. <laughs> so um, we started Punk Crash on the 6th of March, 2011. I like the idea of sharing a channel, yeah, basically. We yeah, can... we always wanted to make a channel together. That's, yeah. you know, since 2007 by the sounds of it. So yes, it, it actually was. Yeah. Do you want to talk about the Pod Crash Adventures? Okay, so the Pod Crash Adventures were our very first Minecraft series. I thought, this is going to be sweet. We can do everything we want with this. Yeah. <laughs> um, I built it all. And then George recorded. Because I was the one that was recording, yeah. and I didn't want to know what was happening, otherwise yeah. it would be pointless and stupid. So we thought it was pretty good at the time, but it was dreadful, so we deleted it in the end. Well, I, well, yeah, what happened was we started on it, Podcrash Adventure, got to like episode 3, accumulated about 50 subscribers, I'd say. Yeah. Something, something stupidly something shit. Like that, yeah. And then we took a break from Podcrash. We, I went back to my own, own channel, I Matt just, didn't do anything. I just sat my ass. He yeah. sat in your ass, fisted it a bit. And, <laughs> and, then, uh, doing that, but, uh, and then Skyrim came out, um, and Skyrim. I did that a lot on my own channel, Mr. Flubberjubber again. Because I was going for quantity, not quality on this at this point. I think I have to play the video then. And, um, Let's see. Skyrim video, I, I, fucking loads of views, seriously. Oh my god, you got loads, yeah. I know, I actually got high views. Overall, 100, one million views. Um, the first one I did was Novice G- Spells Gameplay. I knew that would get views, just yeah. with that name. 70,000, 71,000. Uh, other ones, <laughs> The Resurrection of a Dragon, knew that would get views. 56k, 57k. Skyrim Dive Rock, 32k. Transform into a werewolf, 115. All these you ones get, you get the picture, yeah. that would get massive amounts of views. And they're the ones that you know you click on but you don't subscribe to. So I only got 278 subscribers from that poor effort. <laughs> so, poor effort. So we took a break. We took a break. Oh, that, that was the no, break. No, no, well, the break. But, yeah. you know. And then yeah. on the 8th of October, um, one of That's our friends... That's why it's Podcrash Day. Podcrash Day, yeah, 8th of October. One of our friends um, suggested that, you know what, why don't we just log on a server and build RuneScape in Minecraft? And we both said, That's a Good idea. That's, George, yeah. well, let's make videos for Podcrash on that. Let's get Podcrash Well, again. to be honest, no, the only reason that it worked out as it did is because I said I'll host the server because no yeah. one else could host it at the time. If that didn't happen, we would not have started Podcrash. That's a good point, actually. Because yeah. I went, okay, I'll host it. We got our friends to help us, but me and Matt sort of had a better idea of what We to already do. had the idea of the scale. We actually had the paint open already. We yeah, had the image we'd on done paint, everything. Like pixels and, and they were just going off memory and just going, oh, I'll build that there. That, that's, that sounds good. So we banned like, them no, off. <laughs> seriously, please, just build it properly. Yeah, we had a bit it. of a fallout over it. And uh, I banned my friend from the server because he was just making a mockery of it, like just I mean, ruining it. He thought it was his, his original idea, but he wasn't really going about it in the way that we wanted to. And, and there was better. Yeah, and to be honest, just because it was his idea doesn't really mean it doesn't really mean that he had to be involved all the time. Yeah, if he's exactly. not going to take it seriously like we did, then we just okay. Thanks for the idea. Yeah, exactly. But we're not. They said we were asses about that, but we weren't really. To be I, honest, because then I actually said, if you want to actually help us, you've got to do what we say about it and go on the game and build it to the game. Because at the time, it was all about making it as like RuneScape as possible. Yeah, and. Uh, I gave him the chance, and then I came on and went, what is this chicken farm doing here, sort of thing? And he went, I'm just building. I went, what from? He went, from memory. And I went, for God's sake, that's yeah. it. Then I went south towards Lumbridge Swamp, 
Uh, this doesn't look like Lumbry Swamp because, you know, there's a massive cock instead. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Jesus, yeah, I remember. <laughs> sort of built a cock in the... Uh, <laughs> I don't know which friend, but they built a cock, and we thought, well, that's it, me and Matt are taking this. Yeah. So we, we just started again. Lumbridge Castle, if you watch the first video, oh, was yeah. made by me and Zach, and maybe a bit of you, but I remember no, Zach. No, I wasn't there for that. Okay, me and Zach. I was, and, bit, I was mapping down. Yeah, I didn't really yeah it was totally castle. down. It was totally wrong, even. So I just went... We rebuilt that yeah. later on. Yeah, we did, we? actually. And then yeah. we revamped it again later on. Yeah, yeah. So that started there. A the main point at this point... We got to we got to 118 subs. One one eight. One one eight subs. Then, <laughs> then, wow. This was Joe's oh, idea. Wow, my idea, my time. All right, so basically, you know when you look on YouTubers and then you see videos and then they see comments and then the comments are like, they say something, they say a live story and then say, come to our channel, subscribe, and everyone downvotes them. Yeah, and everyone's like, <laughs> <laughs> everyone's like, these guys are they're knobheads. These guys are knobheads. We did that. Um, <laughs> we we started that. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. the pretty much the reason we are exactly where we are now. Yeah, it it works. It worked. It, it worked. worked. We it don't worked. know if it would work, so don't try. Oh, it. Yeah, it worked. But you had to work on it properly. Yeah. You can't just do your stupid little comments. You know, you've um, got to have a brain. So basically, sixteen channels. Yeah, we have 16 <laughs> channels. We have accumulated these via just numerous projects. Matty Rocky 780, Matty 400, which was the one for uh, Craftier. Yeah. No, Craft... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then, then we has uh, Mr. Flubby Jubber 2, yep. Matty 400 Plus. Yep. And just things like that, and they just they went nowhere. And then we use yeah. those, th- those to thumb some But we already comments. made them because we were like, oh, we, we can make this channel. We had to we can... mastermind the plan, basically. Like, if we can get our comments to the top rated comments on a popular video, people will click it because people will think people have voted it. They're clearly exactly. Guys. So that went on for a couple of months. It didn't go on for a couple. It was a it was a few weeks. Of it the, actually was, wasn't it? At, yeah, at most, yeah. Because we didn't do it for long. It was round my house, and Matt brought his brother's laptop, and I was playing card or something. We, we took it in turns. Didn't we? No, I was playing Halo Reach. Yeah, yeah, on Halo the, Reach on the TV. And we took it in turns. Like and every every video. two games, we'd switch and do more <laughs> videos. And by the end of it, we actually got to about five hundred and twenty-one subscribers. It was exactly five hundred and twenty-one when we started. Can you remember I can, that? I can. I can. That's the, one of the only numbers I can remember. It was uh, five hundred twenty-one. We said right, we're going quite a lot of subs off this. Yeah, we. But when people that... start seeing it in our feed that we're spamming videos like that. They're probably unsubbed, yeah, so we stopped doing we it. We actually did stop from there. We said That is literally the reason we said that we're getting so many subs at the moment that, yeah, it would just be it would just be stupid for everyone to see Podcrash have viewed, Podcrash has liked. Yeah, exactly. And it's just like, we got to stop now. So we went legit as such. Yeah, so that was our, that's our, like, dirty secret. But, but the thing is with that is that the subscribers were legitimate subscribers. It's not yeah, like a stupid they, subscriber bot or something like that. Yeah, they actually looked at our channel and thought, you know what, these guys are actually, and then they actually pretty what, good yeah, and then yeah, subscribed. Yeah, so they, they were yeah, proper. Yeah. yeah, so people who subscribed from that, you guys are awesome. Yeah, thank we got, you very much. We got 521 subs out of that. So that was so that gave us our legs, basically. Really. That was where we started properly working on RuneScape in this time as yeah. well. And then we drifted. We also, we also actually put it on Reddit, our, one of our yes. videos. Oh, and yeah. that got like... No, we didn't. Someone else put it on Reddit, didn't they? Someone else Maybe. put our channel... Someone else put our so, project actually. on Reddit and it did get to the front page. And that got us a load more subs. And in the end, we got we found ourselves at 800 subs. And that was when Daily Noob Pona got in contact with us about arranging um, a YouTuber's survival games event. Yeah. And that was back when survival games was only on, like, its first map at the time. I mean, when it, eventually when the event did happen, the second one was out, but the idea of big YouTubers all playing it together hadn't really come about yet, so this was pretty early on. And this it was with small YouTubers, around 2,000, some of it 3,000. Most of them... Daily were, was at 2,000, wasn't it? Daily was at 2,000 at the time, yeah. And we were like, oh my God, this guy's got 2,000. Yeah. <laughs> and we were like, yeah, we're doing this. Never actually happened because the server went on was too laggy. We did actually do one, but it never went up. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. We, we used did. it as we uh, used it as a pod vlog. A pod vlog. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we did a very early pod. But vlog. like I was in contact with Daily, and we've sort of we've not really spoken to him much now, but we it's, it's not good to. The point so. is that yeah, we we we've not exactly stopped contact completely. We could talk to him at some point, and we all yeah. I, I'm, I'd like to think we've left on good terms of yeah, yeah. Just sort of not. He's a talk. cool guy, so you know, yeah. left, he's still in our channel box, and we're still in his channel box. Hopefully, you know, in two days' time, probably he'll just by unlock the nurse. Yeah, he'll have kicked us out and <laughs> written a comment saying these guys are the worst. Oh my god! <laughs> so that's that. Really, but then pretty much didn't go that. very far with daily. To be honest, we didn't that. really. No, yeah. 
But then at 850 subs, this is when this is when it all gets started. This is where it goes bada boom. This is the good part. I'm 15 minutes into no one's listening. Know, yeah. <laughs> 1500. Eight, no, 850 subs. That's when Seto got in contact with us. He was at 20k. He was at 16k. He was at 16k. Yeah. Properly. Yeah, was he was actually. Yeah, Christ. And um, he said, um, we were thinking of making a wilderness survival games map. But we've noticed that you guys have already built the free to play. Could you? Build the Val. The val- the, no, the no, wilderness. The wilderness. Val- I, he, I'm assuming he assumed that we'd already built that the wilderness already. Yeah. And um, well, we we technically had. Yeah. Well, we'd started it, but we said the graveyard of shadows. Wasn't oh, yeah, it? That's a good point. We, we actually had started, it. started it. Yeah. But we said um, the wilderness is pretty poor because we were still doing it flat then, weren't we? Mm-hmm. We were yeah. actually building it all flat, and we hated the wilderness. We thought it was terrible, and it was terrible because it was flat. It was flat. Are you listening to? It? Are you yeah, seeing the common trend? Just... Flat maps suck ass. So it wouldn't be. So... Viewed, it wasn't allowed to be uh, used on skitscapes. No, no, that so... wasn't it. That wasn't it. We just we said ourselves, a wilderness survival game map would actually be pretty rubbish with what we've got. Oh yeah. How yeah, about yeah, we build yeah. a map? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then yeah. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, and then that was going to be used. Um, Seto said that was going to be used on skitscape server, but skitscape himself said that it was too flat. I didn't really like it. But and um, he said it was too flat. There's, the admins liked it. They all said they wanted it on. But we went back to the map and we did the entire revamp of Farrock. Not the actual city, the area around it. That's why it's all hilly and the server stuff. It's so much better. Yeah. Works nicely for an adventure map. Everyone says they really like it as an adventure map. But I thought it's, I think it's a bit rubbish to be honest. But you know, as a survival map, you mean? Yeah. East of Rome. It's yeah. a huge survival game. As well. That's it's, the thing. It's too big, I think. Yeah, but that's the thing. It could be used for like um, big bad man pig said on Sky. So it could be used for like seventy people. Yeah, it could. It could be a massive fight. It could be a huge fight. And I mean, that got us loads of subs, and uh, I, yeah, I'd say it got us over a thousand with Seto. Yeah, Seto pushed us over money. a thousand, and we were like, oh my god, Joe, we've got a thousand subs. I know, Holy one dude. thousand people want to watch our videos, or yeah. have wanted to watch them at Yeah, some and that was sort of boosted when Seto sort of like told Gizzy about us, and then Gizzy made his... Um, RuneCraft series. RuneCraft series with Deadlocks, who didn't even have a channel at the time. Yeah. Damn. What a missed opportunity there. And uh, he's still... <laughs> and Gizzy was still doing RuneScape videos, but he was yeah. wanting to move over to uh, to Minecraft at the time as well. Yeah, so that was... Kind of then, and then he just sort of, you know, sort of stopped for, I'd say, about a week there. And we were like, okay, cool, let's <laughs> just Shit, continue again. whole week. And then we got a message on, um, on a, like, a comment saying, you should give this into Chris Archie. Uh, Chris Archie Prods, because, of course, that's Chris his Archie Prods, channel. Right. Yeah. And I was actually bored in the morning one time, and Matt was still asleep. I'd already uploaded a flyover video. Yeah, well. a flyover video that we yeah. were trying to promote the thing with. I was sort of like through our thousand subs or something like that, wasn't it? Yeah. Something like that. So then George decided to submit it to Chris Archie. And uh, Boom. the he same day, it. it got given back, and I was literally shaking when it was uploaded, because I was like, oh my God, a guy with 100k subs has put our video up. I was like, oh my God. So I don't know what Matt was doing at the time, but uh, <laughs> hey up. Uh, but, um, but we gained about six hundred subs that day. We gained six hundred fifty the first day, and two hundred eighty-three the second. Yeah, so day. I mean, it was uh, maybe two hundred eighty. No, but it, it was two hundred eighty-three. Yeah. Okay. I can't remember that number. But so anyway, yeah, we that's got that. to eighteen hundred subs literally in three days. We were like, oh my god, this is <laughs> sweet. So um, doubled the channel in like three days. Yeah, and then Chris said to us like, um, he just thinks we're. You just thought what the we were awesome builders because yeah. of what we've done. And if you if you like if you wanted to upload a second video to our cha- to my channel, I'd happily do that for you. We're like, yeah. Oh my god. Cheers, yeah. mate. Jesus Seriously. Christ. So we were at around, we were at around two k when we sent the second one, which is the Tavoli one, and uh, that got us to two thousand five hundred, which was amazing. Yeah. So we, now that's the reason that we've got the Tavoli one. Tavoli was built based on the idea that well, Chris wanted to upload another video. Yeah. About so us. we created Tavoli and we wanted it to be good this time. Tavley's still one of my favourite cities. Yeah, right there, anyway. Tavley's amazing. Easily. And um, that leads on to, we were talking to Chris, and he said, seriously, quote... This is a quote, yeah. This we're not, is a we're not, quote. We're not sound like knobheads. This is um, an actual quote. You guys make better quality videos than people that do this for most a... Most people. Most people that do this for a living. And we were like... Oh my, oh my god! Oh my god! And compliment. then he said, "I can get you a contract if you liked to partner with Machinima." And then we went, "No, realm. <laughs> nah, I don't do that. We don't want." <laughs> no, that. and the thing with that was that we actually said beforehand that we wanted to partner with Machinima if possible. Yeah. And we actually managed to get someone from Machinima that was pretty big, yeah, and influential to uh, 
to get us a partnership and it took months and months to get it through. It did. He asked us in like July, June, July, August. It sort of felt like if we could June. be partnered with Machinima, that would have been great because we've been speaking with Seto, Gizzy. Yeah, Deadlift. they were all people in like that. They look, well, actually, Deadlift know each other all the time and he's with TGN now anyway. Yeah. But we were speaking with people who were from who were partnered with Machinima and we thought it would make more sense if we could get partnered with Machinima and that would be sweet. So we did and that was on the 11th of August. 11th of August. 2012. Yep. That was when not that long ago, I was. woke up in the morning. I had like text from you at two in the morning. Oh yeah, and you pulled so, that really quick video. Just yeah, saying, and like, I, thanks to everyone. And I'd like, uploaded the channel background. And I was like, I was just staring at like <laughs> <laughs> channel background, channel, channel background. banner on the top. I'd worked out to do HTML code overnight. I was like, oh, too short. And I was like, <laughs> click the yeah, and it was all sweet. And, and this like. was where we sort of decided that we were going to up the game. We did say when we get partnership, we're going to upgrade our mm. quality. And uh, Matt had taken over recording quite a while ago at this point, but uh, but um, <laughs> sorry, we just got an inbox and we were just looking at it. So um, anyway, um, we finished the initial free to play world, but this was why we did the flyover as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, that was yeah, yeah, yeah. So this was a bit earlier on, but we had finished the initial free to play of the. Uh, uh, what do you mean, Jake? That's when we started the revamps in the members' world as well. Yeah, so do you want to carry and on? And then, yeah, um, gained steadily from there. <laughs> I love how you literally just say it. Yeah, well, yeah, we've, we've got we've got a list here. That's the paper that you can hear moving around. And then, just got past 3k. Oh, for God's sake, don't do this. Just actually explain it. Okay, okay, so, okay, I'll explain that a bit. We just got past. <laughs> oh, my God, right, right, go, go, go. Right, go. okay. That's when we started to work on the Predator map. Yeah. Now, Sadly, Ghostcraft exists, but that's not. When we thought of the idea, I, I saw genuinely we saw it. We started working on it during the snapshot updates, so it was way, way, way before one point four came out, and we were like, it was inspired. No, 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 it yeah. was inspired. If you anyone remembers on Halo Three, back to the Halo Three, the Halo Three, start, the, the very start, the, the reason circle. that we all, pl- the the reason that we were Play where games. we are at the moment, yeah, yeah. yeah. Predator was a little custom game on uh, Halo 3. Look it up if you really want. There'll be yeah, loads of videos on, on it. Foundry. It was on Foundry, and there's like this really, really badly but awesomely placed map. The yeah, guy must have just thrown shit from the... T- from it, the t- it was a dreadful map, but it worked. It worked really well. It worked well. perfectly. No and other map was better than It was it. a guy that was invisible, and you guys had to walk around and kill the Predator, mm. or be killed by the Predator, and that was the entire idea for a we thought- video. Well, the invisibility. Uh, I mean, we project. could recreate that, and that would be sweet in Minecraft. Yeah. And we thought, oh, hang on, so there's this problem. No way, hang on, I can do it like this. And we formulated the idea, created it. Then one night when George was asleep, um, I show I oh, I know I mentioned it to Gizzy ages ago, just like it was an idea in the air. Because remember, he was on the server. And we were thinking of making a unique yeah, yeah, map for it, but instead we just used Alcarid instead. Yeah. And um, he told Sky. Sky was Minecraft, of course. And then I got a message off him on Skype one day saying, so I heard you've got this idea. Um, could we have a look at it? That would be... Sweet. Yeah, I was hyper asleep. This yeah, so I was like, yep, sure, here's the map. And um, <laughs> we, although the, the problem with the map at the time then was that it was unfinished. I had not even created the spawn. It was just a proof of concept to show that it works. I was only expecting it was like four of us because I think it was me, Seto, Deadlocks and Sky at the time. And I was like, well, this, this is just this is just how it works. I put no like thought into how it works. Then they added in about fifty odd people. It was like ten people. Was like, oh, this isn't going to work. Everyone was running around the redstone, starting the map. And then the thing is, at the time, was I didn't think there was a way of counting how many players had died because I was still thinking of oh, unlimited players. Yeah, yeah. So there was a button in the kill box that ended it. That was a bad idea because I thought. Because the way, when we were playing it, I always thought, it's just going to be for a group of friends to download, play. Yeah, yeah. That's what it was ever, that was all it was ever going to be. So if there was, they'd all be on Skype at the time, so if there was a button in the kill box, it wouldn't really matter. Because, because the guys wouldn't be douchebags to each other. Yeah, because they just want to play the game for fun. Yeah, exactly. But of course, people pressed the button and ended the game and stuff like that. It was really annoying. So Seto showed me this idea of how to count the players which were killed, and that was great. So we implemented that. And then Seto and Matt started loads of redstone work. Yeah, and- we... Together we fixed a load of redstone problems and then... That's where Seto comes into that project. Yeah, that's why it was a collab in the end. And it definitely was because he fixed so much of the old redstone that was there. That it was buggy and stuff and they came up with new ideas for it. And just did... He just completely fixed the map and made it work really smoothly. And it was that was good. So that was where that happened. And then a game where 
Oh, it's not you, actually. Yeah, You're I was. Again. <laughs> no, it was before oh, no. this. Oh, and, yeah. and Venom came on the server because Sky asked him to. And then Deadlock, Gizzy, Seto, Tremu, Minecraft Universe, that is. Um, XL, No Name Nate. No, but um, this was afterwards. But it was the first one. And Venom uploaded a video, liked ours of the oh, explanation. Yeah, yeah, this is the first time, yeah. The explanation of the uh, Predator map. And it got us to literally 5,000 subscribers. It, over time, it, it got us a thousand subs. It got us a thousand to us. That, that, that goes over four thousand. It got us over four thousand. How the hell are we on five k now? Because it because we got six hundred on one day, two hundred or three hundred on the next day. Oh, and then like it's fifty and six. It's just been consistently high since then. Yeah, yeah. near enough. So that's how we. Uh, okay, and then yeah, it took us up to nearly five k. Yeah, of course we're past. We're 5K past five thousand now. now. Whoa, that's 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 an achievement. It is. It's yeah, good. That's almost a reason why this video. Would go up now, yeah. As well as Christmas Day, it's over and then 5, we weren't thinking of making an adventure map for, for Christmas. Christmas. A few people had asked us. The only reason, that, well, there was a reason, uh, probably maybe a subconscious one, to be bothered to make one was Gizzy said, "If you got anything planned for Christmas, maybe." Yeah, and I thought we could actually do. We could actually do. It'd have that. to be really quick. So we made a short adventure map, which was Bad Santa. Bad Santa. Except we accident we accidentally made it really hard. Um, so it only took like two days to make it. Yeah. Flat. The thing is, though, is the, the thing with Bad Santa is there were a lot of problems with it. Like, weapons in the chest at the start disappeared when you first hit. I fixed that. I know the problem now. And um, when you bought a sword from the new villager that I made at the start, they also disappeared. I fixed that. I know the problem now. There were a load of problems with it, balance and stuff like that. But now that we've done that, that was sort of like a testing ground. We can learn from those mistakes, and I know the problems that were there, and I know how to improve it. Like... Oh, um, where the three like keys to the workshops are. Yep. Um, I've noticed in a few videos like PK King Fives and Seto's playthroughs, there is like just in every now and again there's just like a circle of zombies and they're just all looking at the ground like they're planning something. <laughs> now that's pretty cool, really, because that's what they all put it down to. But what it actually is is that when you walk up there first, the text starts rolling. The way that works is there's a mob spawn under the ground that spawns villagers. And when you get close oh, to it, the villager stays still. When you get close to it, it spawns one villager. It won't spawn any more because it's checking how many villagers there are around it. Yeah. And there's already one there. So it spawns one villager. That lands on a pressure plate, and then that triggers all the redstone. So you do, it look, there's, all the redstone is concealed. It happens underground. And it's a really genius idea from Hypixel that. Um, but I had the villager just under the ground, literally one block, so I was scared that it wouldn't work if it was too far away. It will. I know how to get that to work now. I can have a, I can have the mob spawner there, but I can have the villager 100,000 blocks away. It wouldn't work it'd be in a chunk, but in theory that would still work. But they were just they were all trying to eat the, eat the villager that was under the ground. Yeah. So that was the problem there. So less Anyway, villagers. anyway, going, from, going from Bad Santa, that is um, bringing us up to now, really. That's where we 25, are 12... 2019, oh god, <laughs> 2012. 2012. Jesus, I was thinking about birthday for some reason to say 1994. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, the, the the thing that we're going to do now. Right, it's a future is, underlined. Yeah, yeah. underlined. Focus, m- focusing more on adventure and PvP maps. So basically, move away from RuneScape as such because the game is dying itself. The server's down a lot at the moment. We've been talking on Facebook and things to the owners. And they just don't know what's up with the IP at the moment yeah. and stuff. It's, it's really glitching and messing up. The thing so, is, is that we like the idea. Is we like the idea of finishing Bad Santa. It's a complete map. Well, it is now. It's a complete map. You can, we can just put it up for download. It's a finished project. Yeah. Um, we like the idea of that and being able to put more things up. So with RuneScape, we can upload the map, but it won't be finished. And even if we did finish the map, at the end of the day, it is just a map. It yeah. You look around it and you go, that's pretty cool. And then you come well, off it, or you just do like a little you know, video showcase. A, a year and a half's work, that's not... Yeah. We'll probably convert it into a massive adventure map eventually, or even separate adventure Fingers map. crossed. Or if someone wants to do it, like I always say. Yeah. But um, the server is a great idea, but just no one plays it when it's all. And it's understandable, because we don't have... We, we don't have the plugins required, or like the scope that we have for it, we can't bring out because the plugins that we have at the moment by Chilex are absolutely amazing. But we don't want to ask him to do these ideas that we can think of because they take so much time for him to do. Yeah. And we just don't want to ask him that because it would take. And there's ages. people don't really play it, it's not really much incentive to build it. Yeah. Now that we can build other projects and they get viewed. Yeah, and now that we've done Bad Santa, now that I can, now that we can do those ideas of like putting armor and mobs and giving them yeah. drops and stuff like that 
and like plotting out storylines. The idea behind RuneScape beforehand was well on the server as well is to give like an RPG feel to to a, to a map on Minecraft, yeah. and we thought doing it on multiplayer would be the way to do it, since multiple people could do it at once. That didn't really work out, but the we've got a map that we're playing at the moment. It's a massive scale. We map. don't want to give away anything. But it was actually the map I was running around on on the podlog. I yeah. did say that. But yeah. It's a great idea. Um, with the going to hype it up loads yeah. this time. I, I want to anyway. <laughs> I think really hyping it up would be great. With command blocks and mobs, custom mobs and stuff like that, we can make the adventure map that we've sort of always wanted to make. And um, we couldn't really do that with RuneScape. Whereas with this one we can. And it's going to be amazing if you seriously keep watching out yeah. for it. The, dis- the difference between it is that this is going to be a single player map. And but multiplayer. It can be played with multiplayer but with like three to four people. It's an RPG, not an MMO like we were trying with. Yeah, really. yeah, pretty much. Yeah. That is the difference there really. It's like almost a Fallout uh, type idea Yeah. with multiple people. So if you imagine like I know Skyrim but you can join your friends and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. That's pretty that. much it. But modern themed. Uh, modern theme modern and... On Minecraft, not its own engine. Yeah, well, obviously, yeah. Also, uh, the other idea is that... We've got three... Basically, we've got four ideas. One of them is this massive map, which we'll be working on uh, alongside these three other maps. We've got the King's Dominion, which is a multiplayer map, because the Predator was a multiplayer PvP map. We don't expect this to be as popular, but it's going to be a fun game, we think. And we don't want to just build adventure maps. Multiplayer maps are just as fun to make as well. So what we're going to be doing is we'll be doing that map, King's Dominion. We've got this big project. We've also got two adventure map ideas that are slightly smaller, a bit more linear than this massive one. This massive one's going to be branching. There's going to be multiple different ways to go. These two others are going to be their own little storylines. And, and they're just... pretty good. Yeah, we've got some pretty strong ideas about that. Should we hint about one of them maybe? Say, like, give some... If you really wanted to. Yeah. But I mean, someone else could then take it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Never mind. Really on. Never mind. Hyping up <laughs> these ideas, and they're going to be amazing. Yeah, it, they, they are good. They, the be- they're going to be better than Bad Santa as well. And to be honest, people said they really liked Bad Santa, and I'm pleased about that because these are going to be so much better. Yep. So that's basically where that's we're basically at. where we're at now. And you know, we've travelled through maybe five years of videos to get to where we are now. Yeah. So basically, anyone who's starting out on YouTube, it takes a while. <laughs> Advertise. <laughs> no, it takes a while. It takes a very long time, unless you get very lucky. Yeah, or have the right contacts. Well, yeah, <laughs> it is actually who you know. But yeah. we got lucky there. It took what well, we to get in contact with the right people. We had to build all of RuneScape in Minecraft. <laughs> that is literally yeah. the scope. You you're not going to get in contact with big YouTubers just by doing gameplay. Yeah, because really, at the end of the day, gameplay is just a lazy way to make videos. And we only really do... Like, we enjoy the Minecraft survival. We we really do enjoy it. We, it I really like that. But it does feel like spam when we put it, it out. Is, the reason that we do it is because if we are literally pushed for time, which you have to understand is, yeah, it may be a 20-minute video, but then Matt's got to edit it afterwards. Yeah. We could be in the mi- middle of, Matt, I don't know, maybe coming back from college at 4 to Matt, Matt to work at 5 to come back at 7. Yeah, then to do the video. To, to do the video. We still want to do a video every single day. But like I said in the pod vlog, we will be reducing that slightly. Not really so much that you'd notice. Just so we can work on maps more and get them put out. Because at the end of the day, that's what Podcrash is. We are a building channel, really. Yeah, so that's, that's pretty much the whole video before that's you have to edit story. it more. Yeah. That's our life story for the last five years. Yeah, have a good Christmas. Have a Merry Christmas. And we'll see you in the next video, guys.